In this video, we have a 7-gallon and a 9-gallon jug of water. So, and they're empty. We have a 7-gallon and a 9-gallon. And our goal is to use these two gallons and, let's say, some kind of hose or something with an unlimited water supply to measure out all the gallons between 1 and 9. So we want to use these two jugs of water and this hose to measure 1 gallon two gallons, three gallons, all the way up to nine. Now, I suggest you try this, you know, pause this video and give it a shot. And then I'm gonna share my solution. And I'm wondering if there's a faster way to do this because I just solved this riddle and I solved it in a way that seemed natural to me. I wasn't looking for efficiency, but I am wondering, is there a better way to do this? So right away, I could fill up the seven gallon jug and that would give me seven gallons. So we were done with that one. And also, if I fill the 9-gallon jug, I get 9 gallons. Now, we only have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 more to go. So what I did first was to get 2 gallons. And the way I did this was by filling up the 9-gallon jug. And then pouring this into the 7-gallon jug. And if you think about what's going to happen, right, the 9 gallons, if we empty it all out into the 7-gallon jug, we're going to fill the 7-gallon jug up completely. So seven gallons will be in the seven gallon jug and two gallons will be left over in the nine gallon jug because nine minus seven is two. So I can get two gallons by pouring the nine gallon jug into the seven gallon jug. And now I keep going. And I'm gonna actually try to build up this situation. So um, I have two gallons in my nine gallon jug, right? and my seven gallon jug is full, but first to get the next one, I'm gonna empty out the seven gallon jug. So now my seven gallon jug is empty, and I'm gonna try and get four gallons. So I'm gonna use the two gallons I have to get four. And what I could do is pour the two gallons from the nine into the seven. So these two gallons go into here, right? And then what I can do is fill up the nine gallon jug all the way, so there's no more two gallons in here, there's nine gallons of water, and I can empty that into the seven. So everything I can now from the nine gallon jug into the seven. And what's going to happen? Well, there's already two gallons in here. If we empty out the nine gallon jug, how many more will fit to make seven? Well, well five more, right? So we'll have emptied five gallons from a full nine gallon jug into the seven gallon jug. And that means four gallons will be left here, right? Because nine minus five gives us four gallons. So again, we just emptied out the nine gallon, the two gallons from the nine gallon jug into the seven gallon jug, filled up the nine, emptied it again, and we're left with four gallons in the nine gallon jug. And we'll try and use that, excuse me, I think to keep going. So next, um, I've got the two and I've got the four. And actually here, uh, I got a little stuck, so I'm going to say I empty out both jugs and start from scratch. And this, this time I'm going to go in it from a different way. So here's my 9-gallon jug, and here's my 7. This time I'm going to fill the 7-gallon jug up all the way. So that's 7 gallons of water in here. And I'm going to pour those 7 gallons into the 9. So we have 7 gallons now in the 9-gallon jug, and the 7-gallon jug is empty. Erase that. Okay, so seven gallons in the nine gallon jug. And now I'm gonna fill up the seven again, all the way, and pour everything I can into the nine. Well, how much will fit in the nine gallon jug? Well, it's already filled with seven gallons, so two more gallons can fit to make nine. And those two gallons taken from the five gallon, the, from the seven gallon tank, right, take those out, bye, will leave five gallons left. So we, use, we can do this to measure out exactly five gallons, and that's done. Okay, let me clear this off. And we keep going, and we're gonna just keep resetting up this diagram. So here's our nine gallon jug, and here's our seven. And right now, we have exactly five gallons in a seven gallon tank, and we can use that. And here, we can actually use this to get three gallons, so I'm gonna use the five to get three. And what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to pour these five gallons from the seven into the nine. 
So imagine I'm filling this up with five gallons. And now the seven gallon tank is empty. Clear this out. Okay. So, so I keep going here. I would have filled the seven gallon tank all the way. All right, seven gallons of water in the seven gallon tank. I'm going to pour this into the nine gallon tank, right? So if there's already five gallons in the nine gallon tank, how much from the seven gallon tank will fit in the nine? Well, this, there's four more left, right? Five plus four is nine. And if we took four from the seven gallon tank, right, we pour those out in the nine gallon tank, what's left? Well, seven minus four is three. And we use that five now to measure three gallons. And we're on our way, we're almost there. I'm going to keep going here, and now I'm going to use three to measure out to measure one. That's my next step. So I'm actually going to leave the situation the way it is. I'm just going to clear it up because this diagram is is sloppy enough. So I'm going to draw this a little bit bigger. So here's my seven gallon, and here's my nine gallon jug. And currently, there's exactly I think we said right three gallons in the seven gallon tank. So how can I get one? Well, I'm going to empty these three gallons into the nine gallon tank. Right? Pour them out from the seven gallon tank. So there's nothing now in the seven gallons. And I've got three gallons in the nine. If I fill up the seven all the way, right? it's full of seven gallons of water, and I empty that all into the nine gallon tank, what will happen? Well, there's already three gallons in the nine gallon tank, so six more will fit in the nine gallon tank because six plus three is nine. And that means we've emptied six gallons from the seven gallon tank, right? Six gallons have been poured into here. So what does that mean? Well, if there were seven gallons, we poured six out, now there's one left. So in that way, we can measure out exactly one gallon of water. And now I could use this to measure out eight gallons. So now I'm gonna continue and I have the one gallon in the seven gallon tank. How can I get eight gallons. And you can always see it, right? There's this one here in the seven gallon tank, and you know nine minus one is eight. So this is really going to help us. So what I'm going to do actually is just empty that one gallon into the nine gallon tank. So there's one gallon of water in the nine gallon tank. And it came from the seven gallon tank. Okay. So now if I fill up my seven gallon tank, Right, all seven gallons, and I pour that into the nine gallon tank, what's going to happen? Well, we already had one gallon in there, seven more. It won't fill the tank all the way, but that seven and one will give us eight gallons. And now we've only got one left, the six gallon. So what do we do? Well, I can build off of what I have right now. I'm just gonna quickly resketch that. So in the nine gallon tank, I have eight gallons of water. In the seven gallon tank, well, it's empty right now, but, but we can use that. What if I fill up the seven gallon tank all the way? So there's seven gallons right here. So if I fill up the seven gallon tank and I empty that into the nine gallon tank, how much water will fit in the nine gallon tank? Well, there's already eight gallons in there, so one more gallon will fit. And that means we took one gallon from our seven gallon tank. And now there's six gallons. So we were able to use these two jugs of water and this hose to measure out all these between one and nine. And I'm wondering, is there, first of all, is there a faster way to do this? And start thinking about what, what patterns we can see here. What's happening? And you know, starting with any two given jugs of water, what measurements can we make? And what can't we make? Those are some fun things to think about.